A small group of Republicans led by Senator Ted Cruz have introduced legislation that would put term limits on members of Congress. This isn't the first time Republicans have tried to get this done, and there's a lot of debate over whether or not term limits are the best option. Okay. We've heard the discussion before. Constitutional amendment to, you know, requires, what, two-thirds of Congress to vote on it, and then was it three-quarters of all the states, uh, I believe it's three-quarters, of all the states to ratify. Long shot, real long shot. Take it from there. It, it, it is an exceptionally long shot and for, you know, uh, uh, maybe only the second time ever. I, I agree with Ted Cruz. Oh, I do too. I'm I, all I, for it. But and I, and what's funny though is that, you know, I've done segments about term limits before and I, I've gotten so many angry uh, uh, progressives at me say, well, how could you support that? How can you support okay, that? And I, my I, question is, how can you not? Okay. I've never gotten a good argument from anyone as to why we shouldn't have congressional term limits. Okay. Not a single one. Farron, I'm fascinated by what you just said. <laughs> You've gotten criticism, and I have to, about coming out and saying we need term limits. What could there possibly be that would upset the average person who has a brain about term limits. I mean, what, what, is, what is the criticism you've gotten? Well, then we'd have to say goodbye to Bernie Sanders. Well, Bernie Sanders just in November, that was his election to a third term. Yeah. So he'd only been in the Senate for 12 years. Yeah. And I understand that that means saying goodbye to literally one good guy. It also means would have gotten rid of at the time McCain, McCain would have been Jim history. Inhofe, who oh, has yeah, destroyed yeah, the climate yeah, conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, oh, I could we go on forever. Exactly, you could go on forever for all the Boehner wouldn't have been in there for twenty five yeah, years. All Lindsey the, Graham, all, all the trolls, man, get rid of them. I, I, just, I, I know that you've said this before that when you do a story like this and you talk about the need for term limits, that. <laughs> progressives write you back. How could you possibly say that? You're going to affect <laughs> Bernie Sanders or Elizabeth Warren. God, I mean, give me a break. Think through it just a little bit. <laughs> okay, so let's let's talk about this. To date, uh, I think there's about 33 amendments. I don't remember exactly. About 33 amendments that have been proposed. 27 or so were ratified. Not really meaningful stuff, though. I mean, but if they were to send this to the states, this would pass right now. Uh, polling over just the last 12 months at the lowest end, okay. 74% of the American public supported term limits for Congress at the high end, 82% wow. supported term limits. So this is something where that it could happen, right? It, this has the same approval level as Medicare for all, as the green new deal, as all well, of those okay. things that we're pushing it's, for. It's an interesting mixture. You got Marco Rubio, you got Mark Lee from Utah. David Perdue, these are all, these are all Republican. They are, and that's that are what's saying, so weird. Well, is, no, it's not, you, you know what this is about. They're projecting 10 years down the road. Right. They see a trend taking place, and so they're saying, let's do this, but the truth is, it's a good idea. Well, whether or not their whether or not their their rationale is what we would agree with or not, it's a good idea. Well, and when you look at what's coming up in 2020, there's actually more Republican senators up for reelection in 2020, including some who would be affected by Cruz's term limits, which would be two terms for a senator. So 12 years total, not a bad limit no, there. I, it, look it, at Nelson, my God. Right. When Nelson was running against Scott, I, I wanted to put a mirror under his <laughs> nose to see if there was any condensation. The guy looked like a walking corpse. And so obviously Scott beats him. I mean, he was just a weak candidate, man. Right. And when you look at these people who spend 10, 15, 20 years in Congress, What's the biggest criticism of them? They're too establishment now. They've yeah. got, they're too into the system. They've lost touch McCain back home. McCain is a great and example. And it's true. McCain is a great example. McCain was, re was barely even recognizable as a statesman by the time his term was. You know, the last time he, run, he ran, I don't know if you know the story, but he runs and you remember, the, the, okay, so you got an economic burn down, right? Obama's running against McCain. McCain says, oh, well, we're gonna, let's stop our election process and I'm gonna go to Washington to solve the problem. Do you remember that? Yep, yep. Okay, yep. so the stories that came out of him going to Washington, he said, I got a plan. He shows up for this meeting that's taking place in the White House saying, everybody says, where's your plan, McCain? He had no plan. He had become simply kind of a nut job running for president. And that's what, these people simply lose, re, they lose touches with reality. And McCain's a great example. I mean, my God, he, you know, if it, 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 we, it, he's not just the only example, though. 
You know, well, and, and, and here's the thing too. We, we've got term limits on the presidency so that no one person in the U S can have that much power. Mitch McConnell is more powerful than Donald Trump. Yes, he is. Lindsey Graham Absolutely. is more powerful. McCain at the time was more powerful. Yes. Boehner was. Pelosi is oh, arguably God. more powerful Schumer. right now in her position. Schumer. And you go, what in the So world? why is it that this person can run and serve for 30 years and the person in the White House only gets eight? Yeah. Let's limit them all, put fresh faces in there. And as an aside there, you're not going to have somebody who over the course of their career just took 30 million from fossil fuels. They can't spend enough to keep up with term limits either. You're going to inadvertently and to a smaller extent, solve another problem along the yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. Look, do me a favor, would you? Once you get all the criticism about this segment, send it to me because I really want to read it. It's it's almost laughable. It is. Some <laughs> moron saying, oh, well, you're, what, how dare you talk about term limits? Go figure.